everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Tyneco A10 series, specifically the A10 Essentials Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I did receive the sample directly from Tyneco, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this vacuum or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box in packaging. Everything looks simple and straight forward. This also comes with the two year warranty that's stated front and center on the box for you to see. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our instruction guide and manual followed by our vacuum wall mount here for easy storage. It does come with your hardware kit, three screws and three wall anchors. Then you'll see we have our power supply here with barrel connector, followed by some of our vacuum accessories here. This one's a two-in-one accessory, depending on how you want to use it. Then you'll see we have our tube. It is available in two pieces to attach together. You'll see we have our main brush roller here with Tyneco's logo and branding, built-in LEDs. Look at it from the bottom side, additional product info there. You'll see how the brush looks with really small bristles. Two large wheels. Then you'll see we have our swiveling left and right with this base and our up and down play and give there. And then lastly, we have the main unit itself. Let's look at that in more detail. Looking at the top of the vacuum, you'll see Tyneco's logo and branding max suction setting. It's one control button there. Blue accents all throughout. Here's a look at the side profile. Max indicator on the dustbin letting us know when it's full. Instructions on how to clean and replace the filter. We have our dustbin release button right there to easily open up. You'll see in the very bottom, we have our wall mount option there, additional product info. Look at it from the very front. There's the blue button again to release to empty our dustbin. Here's a look at the other side. We have our charging port and plug down here for the internal battery. Looking at it from the very back, additional product info, and we have a filter up here. Replace once a year, clean and dry once every three months. So easy, easy, easy to do. And you'll see that all the time while you're vacuuming to be reminded. We also have this tag on it with our product information and asking us to go ahead and register it online to take advantage of everything Tyneco has to offer. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. Setup is as simple as picking and choosing the accessories and attachments you wanna use with your vacuum. So we're gonna assemble that main tube and body right here, snap it in place. We're gonna attach the main brush roller and then we'll attach our vacuum to everything we just assembled. And there we go, we now have our vacuum all set up. With all the studio lights turned off, I wanted to show you how bright the built-in LED lights are. So we have the vacuum powered up right here. We have five LED lights on it, and you'll be able to see the detail on that remote control very, very clearly. So they're bright, plenty of light there to be able to see in front of you while you're vacuuming, giving you that extra attention to detail. Now it's time to get cleaning. All right, we got our first clean out of the way. Let's take a look at the results. First up, the main brush roller here. Probably what you would be expecting. We do have hairs tangled here. So I got three long haired individuals in my house and a dog that has decently long fur. So this is just after one clean. I was hoping it'd be a little bit better than this. So just know that you will have to maintain this pretty frequently pulling and cutting the hair away. I am seeing some dust and dirt collected, kind of all throughout, tucked away in the corners. That's that really fine 
dust and dirt particles. Great that it's bringing it out of the carpet, but obviously we wanna see that make its way into the dustbin. So you may need to clean this periodically as well to remove any of that dirt and dust. Held up great so far. LEDs are super bright. No unusual wear or tear or anything along those lines. Just be intentional about the hair on the brush roller. And then take a look at the vacuum itself. We got close to the max fill line already. We have plenty of juice left in the battery too. But look at that. Look at how dirty and disgusting that is. Let's empty it out here so we can see it in more detail. There we go. So what do we have in here? Tons of pet hair, the typical dirt, dust, and debris. I see some crumbs, some food particles. Just your typical household mess and contents, but really impressive when we get that really fine dirt and dust in there. Just can't believe how much pet hair, human hair, everything that we have collected in our dustbin. But that'll give you a good real world feel and example of what you can expect in regards to this vacuum and its cleaning performance. So where does the A10 stack up against the competition? We'll be comparing the vacuum not only to itself, but Tyneco's cordless vacuum cleaner lineup, as well as all the vacuums that we've reviewed. We'll give you those averages so you can start to see where this sits on the market today. So first up in regards to cost, this is a very affordable, entry-level, budget-friendly, cordless vacuum cleaner. You'll see that Tyneco's brand on average is gonna be more expensive than your typical vacuum out there, but I'd argue it has a lot more features, so that price is usually justified. But this is about half the price of your typical cordless vacuum cleaner out there available on the market today. Moving right along, let's talk about battery life. This is measured in minutes. We have a 25 minute battery life with the A10, and that is on the shorter side of things. You will be recharging this vacuum pretty frequently, especially if you're doing a deep clean all throughout your house and you have a larger area and square footage to clean. So we're about half the brand average here for Tyneco. You're seeing they usually come in around that 40 minute mark. And of all the vacuums tested, our average is even higher at 50 minutes. I usually say Tyneco runs a little bit less because they usually have smart capabilities with their vacuum. So they got to power the Wi-Fi chip and all that too. In this case, we do not have Wi-Fi with this. So that's just one of the ways that they're able to cut costs is with the battery and battery performance. Moving right along, we have our dustbin capacity. This is measured in liters. This has a 0.4 liter dustbin, 0.1 liters below Tyneco's average and point two liters below the overall average. Not that big of a deal to me. They all get full and you'll have to empty them. It's just a matter of how many trips extra you're gonna make to the trash can. But due to this one's battery life, I'd say it's well within range and perfectly specced for what it is. Now we're looking at max suction power. This is measured in air watts. They advertise 105 air watts of suction power for this vacuum compared to the brand average of 119. So we're pretty close to that average, but we're not paying that much for this vacuum compared to Tyneco's overall average. And we are below the average tested of 134 air watts, but this isn't the end all be all. As you'll see, we have a couple more metrics to go over that help us get a better feel for its suction power potential for deep cleaning and all of that. Next, we have our rated power in watts. This has a 350 watt power rating compared to the brand average of 393, but this is well within range of our average overall of 351, which is great to see because again, nice powerful motor, but we're not paying a lot for it. Max CFM is another metric here that helps contribute to giving us a better understanding of how good of a job it's gonna actually do cleaning. So this has the highest CFM score we've ever gotten out of a Tyneco vacuum, which surprises us because this is their most budget friendly option that we've reviewed. So we got six CFM higher than the brand average and seven CFM higher than the overall average, which no surprise here holds true with our deep cleaning test where we embed coffee grounds and carpet and we see how many of those grounds it's able to lift and pull back out. We got a perfect score here with this vacuum, the highest score we've gotten with a Tyneco cordless vac. The average for Tyneco's is right around 96 and the overall average is 94. So most cordless vacuums do a good job with this test, but at that very top, you'll see that it starts to have some separation there compared to the competition. And then lastly, let's talk about decibels. How loud is this vacuum? It got a score of 86 decibels with its max 
suction setting turned on and we were vacuuming on carpet. Tyneco's brand average for this test is 85. The overall average is 86, so it's well within range. It's not gonna be any louder or any quieter than your typical cordless vacuum. So where does that leave us with our Tyneco A10? Well, let me share with you my final thoughts. Overall, very enjoyable experience using this vacuum. It definitely stands out in regards to build quality above the competition that this is competing with. So I'm pleased with it overall. It's hard to be nitpicky on a vacuum like this because again, you usually get what you pay for. In this case, I feel like we're getting exceptional performance at a very aggressive price. And we still get great features like built-in LEDs that are super bright. They're brighter than a lot of higher end LEDs on vacuum cleaners. So I'm glad just even at this price point, we even got those to begin with. So they did a really good job there with the essentials for you, which is great. That's what you want. There are some things I can be nitpicky on. I miss auto mode, but again, it's hard to say this needs that because it starts to push it up to a higher end vacuum, but works great. Uh, max suction modes, easy to press. I'm not the biggest fan of these trigger locks. I'd rather just have the trigger, you know, turn on once, press again, turn off, but that lock is there. So if you don't wanna hold the trigger down, you still have that alternative option there to use it. It does have an integrated battery. With this lower runtime of 25 minutes, it would be nice if we had swappable batteries so we could get an instant clean going again after the first battery dies. But that is what it is as well, because with this design, there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it. Other than that, I did wanna point out that when I was vacuuming on carpets, I'm not sure if it's due to its really strong suction power, but every once in a while, it just felt like it was not as easy and as fluid to move as it would be on a surface like this or a hard floor. Almost like it was getting caught. That's the best way I can describe it. Kind of just choppy and bumpy sometimes on carpets when it shouldn't be. So that might speak to the design of this particular brush head or just the really strong suction or a combination of the two, maybe even my carpet too, but I haven't noticed it with other Tyneco vacuums. I found that to be a little bit unusual, not a deal breaker for me, but it was something that I did notice and that stood out to me. Other than that, it actually did a, a better job than I thought picking up Cheerios and larger objects, especially because there is no channel for that really here for those to get in there. So it kind of just drives up on them a little bit and is able to vacuum that in. You still will push quite a bit of debris out of the way, but then you could always just kind of lift it up, go back over it. So I don't know. There's kind of compromises everywhere because if you want stronger suction and better performance, you get rid of those channels usually, but you can't pick up as much debris. So this one does a good job, in my opinion, how they designed it to give you some of the best of both worlds. And I guess last thing we talked about earlier, just make sure you're maintaining that brush. It will start to attract hair.